their toy <laughs> my apartment is a mess and I am oh <laughs> you playing you playing with the ball did you play with the ball oh cute where was I? Don't mind my messy apartment. This is the aftermath from holidays and living in my apartment. But the plan for today is to get ready for 2023, set my intention for the new year. Around this time of year, I always find myself reflecting on the year that has passed and wanting to set my goals, set my intentions, you know, get all super excited. New year, new start. It always feels so exciting. 2022 was a year. It was an incredible year for me. I had so many opportunities. I've made so many incredible memories and I just wish I documented more of it. That is what I'm going to be doing for 2023. I know that future me is going to be very grateful. 2022 was such an incredible year and I just, I know that 2023 is going to be even more amazing, filled with even more opportunities, and I just don't want to miss it. Welcome to my diary, but honestly, this is just for me, so <sighs> I'm just so excited. Honestly, I just, I know that 2023 is going to be really incredible. Okay, that's enough of that, because first, before any of that even starts, I need to finish my coffee, meditate, and get this day started. Oh. oh, is that a Nemo cat in the tree? <laughs> oh, are you getting the hedgehog? Of course he is, of course he is. So it is a couple hours, hours later, and he's so bad. Gosh, he's so cute though. It is a couple hours later. I was just doing my morning routine, caught up on RuPaul. Oh, <laughs> bye Nemo. Caught up on some RuPaul because the finale came out over Christmas holidays and I was at my mom's so I didn't get to watch it yet so I'm happy I finally did. After that I just got myself ready even though I have nowhere to be but honestly I just find that even if I don't have anywhere to go getting ready helps me be productive and I just like feeling cute for the day. Put on, can you even see? Put on some basic jeans and a cozy sweater just because honestly yeah i'm getting ready but i also want to be comfortable because it is a home day um i haven't started any planning yet but i was thinking of maybe making some lunch because i'm kind of hungry so i think that's what i'm gonna do before starting to plan for the year i really need to organize my apartment, but I'm still in kind of like vacation mode. I mean, it was just Christmas and I still kind of want to relax. I'm still in the relax mode. And honestly, I just want to plan out my year, set my intentions, do all that stuff. And then I will organize probably this weekend. This weekend I'm going to organized. My apartment is not very big so it doesn't take too long but also for my organization I I just need to get some containers and boxes and bins and I just need more things before I can do a like full organization but I at least want to start. That is one of my goals for 2023 is to just get more organized. But lunch. First lunch. 
I'm thinking, thing is, oh, I have, this is my kitty cat. I have lots of options because I have, he's so cute. Your paws are kind of cold, huh? You walking around? My boyfriend and I ordered some delicious pasta yesterday because we just don't feel like cooking. But I also have lots of leftovers from Christmas because of course my mom made so much food and I was able to bring home leftovers, which I think I might be leaning towards. So, getting some cuddles in. Oh, baby, little Nemo Kaki. I think I'm leaning towards the Christmas dinner leftovers. And I think I'm going to save the pasta for dinner tonight. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. You see that? All this beautiful... Oh, <laughs> the Nemo cat. But the island, the island is filled with Christmas in trouble. Down. The island is filled with uh, Christmas gifts, things that need to be cleaned before they can be put away. That's literally the only reason why they're all still there. I'm sure most people like to wash, you know, their utensils and stuff before they put it away. So. It will get done, but today, that is not my goal. Mm. One of my favorite parts about the holiday is getting to bring home all the yummy home-cooked dinner. My mom, her dinners are just so much better than anything that I make, so. And they're made with love and not thrown together. I'm definitely going to enjoy this. Are you gonna turn on? Ooh. Am I crazy? I'm not really sure what's going on here. I know it's not dead because I literally just unplugged it. I can hear it. There we go. Okay. Is it weird that baby Yoda is just staring? Hopefully not. I was planning on doing this at the island, but you guys saw the island, so that's not happening. The only reason why I'm not sitting on the couch is because I will get way too comfortable and probably not do any work. The plan is to just kind of think about where I want to be this time next year, set out my intention for the year. I mean, as an actress, I can't really schedule out or plan out certain things. I mean, a lot that is out of my hands that has to do with my career, but the things I can do, the things I can focus on, that's what I'm going to be looking at. I mean, I do know that I need to update my demo reel. I need to get footage from things that I filmed this year. I also want to get some new headshots. These are all things that I can do that I need to focus on that need to be done. I also have like goals for my space, for where I live, for how I want it to look, and also just myself, my my spirituality, my morning routines, routines in general that I want to work on. There's just, I have so many things that I can't wait to start bringing into the new year. Do you know? I think there's a cat climbing a tree. What else is new? And also seeing any goals that I set last year that I was not able to achieve, bringing them into this year, seeing if I want to bring them into this year. Oh, hey Trouble. If there's still things that I am even interested in. I know that a huge goal of mine this year, I know 2023, this is gonna happen. I'm gonna quit my day job. Mark it on your calendars, make a note of it, put a pin in it. It's happening this year because I have been there for so long and it's no longer serving me. I mean, I do financially, it is still serving me, of course. It's giving me benefits, but I am 
ready to really focus on what I need to do to get myself out of there. One of those things is getting my yoga teacher training done. Get that all done and be certified so I can do that because that is something that I'm really excited for, looking forward to, and something that I actually will enjoy doing rather than my day job right now. That's a big one. But yeah, I think I want to just sit down, really work at it, figure out what I want to do, and I guess I will check back with you guys when I am done that, so. As I was working away on my laptop, I got a notification. I got a package, so I went and got it. I was super excited, so I already opened it. I got two things. I got this, which I am so excited for. It's a gratitude journal, something to do in the morning. I'll show you the pages, see. It has the in the morning, don't know if you can see that. For your morning meditation, just like write the stuff and then evening reflection. Every page looks the same and this is definitely something that I'm going to be putting into my routine. So I'm very happy that this came. I'm going to start it in the new year because it just feels right. Like I said, new year, fresh start, you know. And then I also got this. I was actually kind of worried that this wasn't going to come before January 1st. What it does is it asks you a question every single day and as you can see it starts January 1st. So I was a little worried but yeah it's just a question for every single day of the year. Another great thing to do either I can do it in the morning put it in my night routine I'm not really sure yet. Being able to feel gratitude and pay attention to the good things rather than constantly only focusing on the bad it has made a really big difference in my life so yeah I just thought these are perfect to talk about. Yeah and now I'm going to get back into planning. <laughs> mainly because I needed to plug in my laptop so I just decided to sit here and put the remote control for the TV far away so that I wouldn't be distracted. It's a little bit later and I think I have some meaningful but also achievable goals. Things that I really do believe I can achieve next year. I will be achieving next year. Things I'm excited to do. A big 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 goal for me is I really want to get into the acting union and that is something that I can't predict if it will happen next year or not just because acting is there's so many things that are out of your hand when it comes to acting and there's no guarantee that I will be booking a whole bunch of union projects but what I can control is how much work I put in myself and in my career. If I work really 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 hard on my career I do believe that it's something I can achieve. I also want to finish my yoga training, uh, quit my day job which is it's happening. Like, I I just, I already know that that's something that's going to happen, but I'm putting it on my list because I can't wait to cross that out. Also, embracing my hobbies. I want to knit more. For Christmas, actually, my sister asked for a hat and leg warmers, and I decided I'd make them for her, and I forgot how much I love knitting. It's something that is just so relaxing for me to do. I love trying to, like, make patterns and figure things out. It's something that I love doing. It's something that I find a lot of joy in. So that's something I want to be doing more. And a huge goal is I want to love my space and make sure that it works for me to organize it. I want to put up more artwork and be more bold. I want my space to be functional. Like everything has a place. I want it to feel beautiful. I want to be able to walk in the door and be like, ah, I'm home. Also, get back into reading. I love reading so much. I think reading with acting, I find reading really helps that that visualization that happens when I am reading a book in my head really helps me connect to my emotions and helps me it helps me with my acting and I just I love I love reading so much I always tell myself I don't have time to read and then I spend 
three hours on TikTok. So, so yeah, read more. Honestly, I've never set a goal of how many books I want to read in a year. I decided that my goal will be very, very low just because I don't want to say 12 books, which I know some people will be like 12 books. That's one book a month. That's not that bad. I just, I don't want to set a goal that I can't achieve. So my goal is six books. I want to read six books this year, which I think that's very easy and if i read more that's even better so i also need to figure out my routine i really need to figure out a morning routine a night routine and a workout routine something that i've realized is that routines help so much i'm somebody who i love routines but i find that the perfectionist in me because i i am gayla kunki i am a virgo sorry if it's not done perfect i find i need to start all over and that is a terrible mindset to be in something i've been working on is just figuring out what works and if something's not working figuring out how to tweak it and put in what will work bedtime for me is a stressful time honestly very difficult for me to sleep um it's hard for me to fall asleep it's hard for me to stay asleep that is also because i have a very terrible night routine my night routine right now is scroll through tiktok until i pass out so yeah we're fixing that have a workout routine because right now my workout routine is nothing yeah <laughs> this is nothing to do with losing weight or anything like that i don't care about that i literally just want to be healthy yeah those are pretty much my main goals for the year those are like the big things that i want to achieve and now the next step is to plan next month and just kind of break down the goals like what is the first step i need to do to get a little bit closer to achieving these goals and see what i can do in the next month to come yeah i think that's everything for goals i do see 2023 being full of love and doing things that i love and being around loved ones 2023 is going to be the year where i put myself first like actually a hundred percent put myself first something that i started doing in 2022 but next year is it's gonna be the year for me i just i feel like i finally have these tools to really embrace life to really enjoy life, but also be able to make the life and live the life that I want to live. I know that future me will be very grateful that I'm doing this, that I'm documenting this. I don't know how to explain it. I know that next year's going to be amazing. Ugh, I just, I get butterflies when I think about it. When I feel this gut feeling, I know to trust it. And when I think about 2023, my gut feeling is it's going to be the year that dreams come true. I really do believe that.